It was bad enough when there was milkshake IPAs, and now there's whatever the hell sours. <laughs> like. What's going on YouTube? J-Dub, Stefani's right over there. This is Best Beers In Me. Beer reviews from Maine, New England and beyond and we're going out to Western New England. We're going to North Haven, Connecticut. Sky Gazer Brewing. And this is Watercolor Swirly Raspberry Mango Vanilla Soft Serve. 5.5% ABV. It's a Berliner style vice beer with raspberry, mango and vanilla soft serve ice cream. Is this the one we got? We got this at the beer cellar. We got this at the beer cellar in Portland. Never stop looking up, it says. I really don't know. We're gonna find out. So the guy at the beer cellar said these. Never stop looking up. These are great one. beers. Well, we're gonna find out if he's right. I hope so. I got a feeling that this may be <clears throat> very sweet and thick beer. I think it might be like definitives fruit beers. What we're gonna see? I don't know. Oh, that's very thick. That okay. is pouring. I like the look. Basically of like uh, I don't know what you would call that. A thin smoothie. A smoothie. Actually, you know those that mango. A thin smoothie or a thick beer. That mango smoothie juice you get. The color is different, but the consistency is the same. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, but these beers destroy your glass. All right, we're gonna find out now. This was. This is brewed and packaged by 12% for Sky Gazer Brewing, so another 12% like what's it called, that Omni Polo we did. So that has got just insane looking, huge bubble, floaty, creamy, huge head in it. You you do too, and I poured yours not even aggressively. Yeah, and they're big bubbles, the, they're, not, looks, they're not moving. It looks like a smoothie, not yeah. a beer. And that's kind of what I expected it might. It's got some floaties in there. I did roll it around a lot. Kind of shake it up. So this says raspberry, mango, and vanilla soft serve. And I am getting everything on the nose that the can says. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it smells like it smells like raspberry ice cream in my glass. Yeah. I don't know if I get a lot of mango. I don't get as much mango as I do raspberry, but I, I get the vanilla. I get raspberry and ice cream. Yeah. That's what I'm getting on the nose. Again, it looks kind of, I don't know how well you can see it out there on this, but. And that head has hardly moved. Those are great big bubbles. Yeah, they're probably going to stick around. You can see what it does to the glass when yeah. it comes down. That's why I said these beers destroy your glass. These are things now, <sighs> I should just drink it and then talk later. Okay. Because I really want to see it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, you Cheers. too. Oh. Apparently she likes it. That is. Well, it's got some sourness too. Raspberry ice cream. A little bit of tartness. Smooth, sweet. I like it. Hmm. That's got a huge flavor. And it it does. It tastes like a raspberry ice cream that melted in your glass. Almost like a little bit of sourness. Almost, I. It says ice cream. Almost like a frozen yogurt because it's got a little bit of tartness to it. Not quite as sweet as what an ice cream would be. Yeah, it's like if you took maybe a raspberry sherbet, mixed it with vanilla, mixed ice it in cream. with vanilla ice cream, and I don't know where the mango is, but I'm not getting that. Mm -mm, it's all raspberry. Straight raspberry. Cream. It. I hate to say that it's delicious, but it is. And that's delicious. Well, you say these aren't beers. I have a hard time calling it beer. Look at what the glass. I know, but. Now, if you can see that out in YouTube land, I don't know if you can, but that is leaving just a disgusting film of whatever all over the glass. You know, though, for the flavor of this beer, I can deal with that film on my glass. This is the hottest style in, in beer right now. And that's kind of sad, but they are good. <laughs> I just have a hard time calling it a beer. So it went the way of the lagers and the pilsners, and then it 
it was all about the IPAs. This is the new thing. This is the new fad. And I don't know if that's a good thing. But they are tasty as hell. I like. I, I, I can't. I like beer. I wouldn't want these all the time. But no. this is a nice change. This is like, if you're a kid, this is like going to the ice cream store. Yeah. <laughs> this is like. So this, so it's almost a like a, a raspberry float. Kind yeah, of. it kind of is. Yeah, but I still got quite a bit of bubbles on there. I mean, I enjoy this. Not gonna lie. Not gonna sit here and say ah, that's disgusting. It's not. It looks disgusting. It doesn't look like a beer. And it reminds me kind of Barrel Souls did one. Raspberry cheesecake sour. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of, kind of. This leans more towards, however, the like the soft serve melted ice cream. And that's what it is. It's, it tastes like raspberry soft serve ice cream that's melted and soured itself in the sun. <laughs> but it, it's not a disgusting sour. No, it's just it's good. that tart sour. That's the only beer characteristic in this beer. But what can I say? I, it's delicious. So the guy at Be uh, Beer Cellar was not wrong. We picked out, I think, three different beers from yeah, this brewery. Yeah, we took three or four different kinds and of And he said we would not be disappointed. <laughs> he said it was a good dessert beer after a meal, sit down, and it's a good dessert beer. On the same trip, I bought these kind of beers, <laughs> and I bought some true Belgian Lambics. At the same time. And that just seems wrong to me. Well, not really. We we like but that's something from the entire gamut. So I bought three bottles of Dre from Belgium. Like true Lambics. Yes, and he forgot to ring those up and gave you your price and that changed drastically. That changed once. a little bit, but yeah. and we bought these at the same time. Yep. To me, I probably should turn in my beer card. Not my man card, but my beer card. <laughs> I can't do that. You can't buy those two styles together. Well, I can. I, it's okay, different for can't. women. I, I, I won't have to turn in my beer card. I, I just... Then you're right. Look, the head, yeah. whatever this is, it's still it's sticking around. lingering. Yeah. And it's almost like the top, not of a milkshake. What is, what okay. is it that when you get to the bottom, it's still got this... So stuff. But I guess is, it is at the bottom. This milkshake. is why I said this reminds me of like a float. So it's raspberry instead of root beer. But when you put your ice cream into a root beer float, you get that thick, creamy bubbles on top that last through the whole well, float. And that's what all I can think of. And that's what it is. The vanilla soft serve, which yeah. I'm sure they just, they must have used vanilla soft serve mix. Because it says. I'm sure it was a dry mix. It says vanilla soft serve ice cream. So it must be the mix. That they but, but that's, into this beer. that's what this is reminiscent of. If it and was, it's like a root beer float where you get all those foamy I mean, bubbles on top and through the entire drink. It's just raspberry. I just, this is what beer is becoming in this country. It really is. These things are like everywhere. However, it was bad enough when there was milkshake IPAs, and now there's whatever the hell sours <laughs> like. When we went, but they're delicious. When we went to Portland this And I don't know weekend, what to do. It it screws with my head. When we went to Portland this past weekend, what was the one place I said I wanted to go? The definitive. Because. But they're not quite like this. Not as as much, but they're. But they are like a smoothie. Yes. But this is like, like you're saying, a, a flow. That's a very good way to say it. It's like you mixed a beer and ice cream together. I mean, that's what it is, I guess. I don't know. But it's a nice change because we don't get anything here like this very often. No, it's delicious. But what the hell is it? It's not a beer. It has beer in it. It is a beer. It's not a beer. It is a beer. And I think it's one of my favorite styles of beer. The flavor is... You can't get this flavor in a regular beer. Oh no, the raspberry is huge. It, this is not. The flavor on this is unbelievable. It so, really is. It's truly... The flavors off the, off the chairs. Yeah, my first taste was almost once it hit the back part of my tongue, almost a little puckering. Not it is. It is because it's got that huge upfront raspberry, but then when it hits the back of your tongue, you've got that smooth, creamy sweetness. But once that hits the back of your tongue, you get that little bit of raspberry tartness. You do. It's. 
So I'm going to have the beer gone. It's just going to be foamy bubbles in the bottom of my glass. Because there's still a ton there. You don't even know I what to nothing. say. You, you're, you're, you're at a loss. It's because I want to hate this. I want to hate what it's doing to beer. But you can't. But it's delicious. So what do you do? So who says beer has to be a certain way? Well, it doesn't, but that this isn't beer. <laughs> that is not a beer. A beer doesn't look like that. That's a beer mixed drink or something. I don't know. It's it's a cocktail, a beer cocktail. It has beer in it, but it has other stuff that's taken over. But do you like it's it? It's not a beer. It's not a Berliner Weiss. It is not a beer. But do you like it? It's delicious. Very yeah. much so. That's where I'm having an inner struggle here and I'm fighting with my own feelings. So I'm going to I'm gonna just put this out there. So, so many people say this is not a beer. However, if you ever get the chance to try one of these or try a beer like this, I would strongly suggest doing it. It's wow. a treat. Guys, if you like... <laughs> I don't know. If you like going to the candy shop, I guess. But I, I, if you if you like this stuff, well, I mean, just go get a float. This is a beer float in my glass. Right it now. is. That's what and I look said. Look what it's it. done to my poor glass. I mean, that looks disgusting. But it was worth it. Your glass will wash, and this was totally worth it. I. So I've been waiting for these since last weekend, and I am so not disappointed. So not disappointed. For what they were going for, they nailed it. All right. I'm not. It's delicious. So well, look, let's go see what they're saying. I'm on just that. about done, and all I have is foamy bubbles. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. I hate the fact. I gotta take a picture. I hate the fact of what my glass looks like. that you can't let go of the fact that you don't think it's a beer, even though you really enjoy this drink. So just let it go. It's a beer, and it's really it's not a beer. It is. It's not a beer. Over a thousand people have checked into this beer ice cream. They gave it a four point one nine. No, I'm giving it way higher than that. I mean, that's a pretty good score. And we have one friend, and he's had it, and he gives it a 3.8. I'm giving it a 4.85. And I, I, I can't read it. It's not a beer. So, okay, so so many of our reviews... I give it a 5 for the flavor. I do. So many of our reviews, I say, I, I never liked beer tasting beer. So I'm going to rate this based on this is what type of beer it is. So this is what they were going for. They're not a lager. No, They're not a pilsner. A Berliner Weiss. Right. They're not and an IPA. Not a Berliner Weiss. But Weiss. this right here is what they were shooting for, and they nailed it. Mm -hmm. And I'm giving them a 4.85. All right. All Guys, the way around. Have you had this beer? Have you had Stargazer? Have you had things that look like this in your glass? If you can see that, I don't know how good that's coming on camera. I've had some smoothie style beers, and even those I have a hard time calling them a beer, like definitive. This is a, a travesty to call this a beer. This is some kind of monstrosity, but it's delicious. I wouldn't want these all the time, but I would drink one of these a week, every week. Oh, abs I, I absolutely would. The flavor is unreal. So the nights that you really don't Flavor's want to sit unreal. down I, I and have know. a beer, but you eat dinner and you want to just sit down and sip and relax, this is it. Yeah. This is just blowing my mind. So. Now I'm down to nothing but foam. That is not gone. It's all foam. I don't think it's foam. It's it is. Like, I don't, it's, it, that's foam. Yeah, it's got substance to it. <clears throat> but it's good. I, I'm not at all disappointed. Guys, let me know if you have had this beer, like I said. Let me know if you've had this style. Let me know if you like this style. What do you think of it? I told you what I think. I, I, I have a hard time calling this a beer, but it's it's damn delicious. He's just mind blown. No, I'm not mind blown. I'm <laughs> mind torn. Right. Part of me wants to say I love this, but most of me says, no, you don't. And this is not a beer. You and it should not be sold as a beer. But you feel like you can't. You feel like you can't love it because you don't. I'm not think even it's trying to be like a beer snob. I'm just 
being realistic. This is not beer. What the hell is going on? My God. I mean, so you know what I'm blaming? Who I blame for this? Who? I blame all of the people that started making hazy IPA. I'm blaming Treehouse. I'm blaming Trillium. I'm blaming Bissell Brothers. I'm blaming who makes Hetty Topper. I can't think right now. Um, the Alchemist. The Alchemist. I'm blaming them because they started pushing beer to a new place. And then it went to pastry stouts. And it went to milkshake IPAs. And now it's gone to <clears throat> pastry sours. Ice cream sours. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. People are pushing beer to the edge of uh, insanity. But it's delicious. It, I don't know what to say. I think we've covered it as well as we can. She loves it. Part of me loves it. The flavor is unbelievable. So I'm not sure if I can get him to try two of these in one night, but I'm really going to push for that. I, I If I want this, I'll just go to the dairy bar. It's not open here in our town yet, but when it is. Right, but I would really like to try one of those other ones. <laughs> All right, guys. We said what we said. I'm glad that you like it. Like it a lot. I love the flavor. Love the flavor. I'm just having a real hard time <laughs> with my beer glass looking the way it does. Right, right but now. here's the thing. Sometimes in the evening you want to just sit down and relax. Sometimes I don't always want, believe it or not, a beer tasting beer. But I want to relax. I want to sip on something and this is it. Well, this doesn't seem like it make you relax. Seems like it would make you bounce off the walls no. because I'm sure there's enough sugar in this. To give you a sugar high for days. I don't know, but it's good. <laughs> Whatever's in there, it's good. They uh, nailed it. I guess. Yeah, if you're going, if you were trying, Stargazer, people down there at 12% brewing this. If you were trying to brew the most disgusting beer alive, you'd nail it. But, so don't do that. Base it on flavor. <laughs> no. Talk, talk about like... Part of beer is the appearance, <clears throat> the aroma, the flavors the experience <sighs> I, I have to disagree with you so the what is in my glass right now is not pleasant it looks like snotty puke the only thing i can say is the appearance of my glass everything your else, glass looks like someone yeah. puked in it but everything else was amazing i, I still stand by my 4.85 anyways We've done this long I can't enough. rate it, but okay. it's delicious. So and I'll just leave it at that. Do all the things. Like, do subscribe, this. share, you comment. If you've had it, what do you think? I really want to hear from people that love this style. Or if you hate this style, I want to hear from you people. Because I've never been so... Yeah, I'm really, I, I really would like to see comments because we're really split down the Speechless. middle on this. Speechless. Alright, till, till next time. Cheers with my dirty glass. I can't say cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>